Who goes there? How's it going, Todd? We got a new baby for you. A nice little triceratops born here. Sweet. What shape is it in? Pretty stable, but it's a little splintered in the back. It's in two parts. There's a gap here. That's okay. I just join those two, put a tip on it, kind of fill in the back a little bit, and we got a horn. Cool. Let's get into this thing. Let's get this thing open, man. A bone prepper is somebody that you take your fossils to, and if there's missing pieces or stuff needs to be stabilized or you just want to make it look better. We're taking the matrix out right now, getting down to the bone so we can see everything. And the next process will be to cut the jacket down and then we'll stabilize this thing. Todd's one of those guys that does that and he does a really good job at it. I made the jacket pretty tight, so it's... Yeah, and it's just good solid bone too. A refreshing change from some of the other stuff I've worked on recently. Yeah, and there's barely any glue on it, so... Another refreshing change. <laughs> so this is the underside of the horn. In the ground, it was the reverse side. So now we flip this thing over, we clean out the pedestal, and now we've got the bone that was underneath. And uh, now we can cut the jacket down, get a little closer view of things. Aaron and Todd are exposing the underside of the horn for the first time, hoping it's as well preserved as the top. It looks pretty good. I can actually see some grooves in this for the blood vessels, the pores, and the nerve endings, and all that good stuff. Now for solve all. Trim the field jacket with surgical precision. Hold her steady as best you can. Toss her in the blaster and see what this thing looks like beneath the dingy veneer. And it goes. Todd's an interesting character. He's a funny guy. He's got a certain sense of humor about him, the way he talks. Uh, it's pretty apparent. Pushing household baking soda at 90 PSI just takes off that little bit that clings to the surface and reveals the real bone underneath. Pretty good general purpose abrasive for this kind of work. Not too hard, not too soft. It's got that Goldilocks property. Doesn't tear up the bone unless you got soft, compromised bone to begin with. He's not really a cowboy in the sense that, uh, you know, he does what we do every day, but he helps out and he lightens the mood. He's, he's a pretty humorous guy. He's got dry humor. It's just little subtle stuff he throws out. It's neat to look over his shoulder and watch this matrix come off, see this horn emerge. Pull eight hours a day on this for a month and then tell me if you still want to do it. <laughs> I did a T-Rex in Montana some years ago. Spent the first five months, 10, 12 hour days, seven days a week, just blasting all by my lonesome. Got her done, though. The value of a bone that's been prepared is substantially larger than an unprepared bone. And coming to a commercial prepper, we have the experience to streamline the process to the greatest degree possible and turn a 100-hour job into maybe a 60-hour job. I enjoy field work. I love it all. That's my problem. Just haven't had time to do the field work because I got to do this to make the money. A lot of people don't appreciate the grind that it takes to get a lot of this stuff looking good. Try and paint something big like your car, but do it with a Sharpie. It's hard. It's sitting in front of that sandblaster day after day, and only making a few inches worth of progress on a particular bone. But it's personal at some point. You, you want to get it done. You want to see it through. I cut my own throat too, more often than not. This is gorgeous. I wish they were all like this. Not a whole lot more we can do to it right now, except get her out of there, I think. That childhood fascination of the giant behemoths, getting the closest to contact we're gonna have to them, until they get the cloning thing down and then go to the petting zoo. Peel that one back and just pop her out? Nope, too sturdy. Damn, man. <laughs> uh, you and your jackets. I over-engineered <laughs> over it. Just, just enough. <laughs> Oh, here, here we, we go. go. When you first reveal a bone and you're the first human eye to ever see that particular critter. Ah, there we go. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. It's reward in itself until the check gets here. 
Those are nice and stable and solid. This part, however, is fractured. I just tried to lift it out and it tried to separate into multiple pieces. So before any of that compromises anymore, we're gonna get some bonding agents in there. Time to give her the Vinac. Vinac is polyvinyl acetate, uh, basically the same kind of plastic that you'd uh, laminate driver's license or ID cards with. When you dip the bones in it, it uh, penetrates and hopefully you've got all the interior of the bone glued essentially. My baby's in the spa right now, getting a good soaking. When I first took it out of the ground, I would have graded this horn at about a five. We're missing about four inches off the tip, and then we're missing the whole backside. But it still has the shape of a horn, looks like a horn. Todd's gonna join the pieces back together, and he's gonna fill back in with putty. These horns can sell for a few thousand dollars, fully prepped. So I'm hoping to get a good price for this. I can't wait to see it, man. It's going to look beautiful. It is. Hundred percent Pierre Harris beef. Here comes Aaron. See the dust coming. Must have smelled it. We're going to eat like a T-Rex tonight. <laughs> Aaron lives paycheck to paycheck, just like anybody else. Whoa, cowboy but he doesn't get a paycheck until he sells a dinosaur. Hey, boss. Takes a lot of work, a lot of luck, a lot of desire, a lot of drive, and commitment. Smells like meat cooking. What'd you do, make a baby? <laughs> you got a baby? What do you got? Oh, I can kind of oh, see what oh, it is oh. already. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. That's a beautiful piece. He done an awfully nice job on that. Yeah, Look at yeah. the texture. Love the blood grooves, don't you? Yep. Look how them blood grooves come out. It looks great, it looks awesome, but this horn's gotta mean something, not just aesthetically. At the end of the day, you gotta pay your bills, and this will cover a lot. We're really happy to get this horn prepped out, so we have something to sell to create a little income for this outfit. Here, I'll turn your stakes, you wanna check that out. Got her? Yep, beautiful, I like it. Well, you got any beer in there for me? Help yourself. This is great in the here and now, but I'm always looking forward. I'm always pushing forward to find the next thing. The next big find is on the horizon.